welcome back to another episode of R5 Adventures. As many of you guys know, I dumpster dive. And you've been amazed at the stuff I've found in the dumpsters. Well, today I got to meet up with an amazing YouTube creator, the legend himself, Scrap and Pallet Man. He does curbside trash digging and scrapping. Curbside digging, whatever you want to call that. And you'll be amazed at what people throw away too. Wait till you see what he gave me today. You won't believe it. Stay tuned. I got to go out today and meet up with a fellow YouTuber, Scrap and Pallet Man. Sup? Sup? <laughs> if you guys don't know him, you definitely need to check out his channel. But he found a saddle in the trash. Literally in a garbage can. Unbelievable what people throw away. Something that they could have given away, sold for a very cheap amount, whatever they would have decided to do. But this Ta thing is in perfect shape. Nothing wrong with it. It needs a cleaning. That's about it. It needs a cleaning. But I guess we could say mega fan mail right there. <laughs> but I got to meet the infamous Scrap and Pallet Man. Awesome guy. Famous. Not famous. <laughs> the famous and famous. Uh, yeah. He's an awesome guy. Awesome YouTuber. Kind of addicted to your channel. I watch a little too much of it. I'm kind of glad you cut down how often you're uploading because it was killing me for a while there. <laughs> yeah, well, I was doing like three or four videos a week and then, um, then I got sick for a while and then I had a toothache and I didn't upload for two weeks and I really, they really gave me a hard time. Well, and then you went live, I think, in the mix of that and that's when everyone went, where have you been? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but... So, well, I'm glad I got to come out here and meet up with them. Hopefully we can plan something at some point when it gets nicer again. We can do some sort of legit so collab. How, how long was the drive to come out here? About an hour and 25 minutes. That's not that bad. Not bad. Okay. Pretty straight shot. Not bad. So if you see anything else that I find um, in the garbage or dumpster, let me know. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sounds good. But now I'm glad we got to meet up and, yeah. you know, definitely check out his channel if you don't know him. If you like scrapping, if you like garbage picking... Awesome channel. I accidentally scrap a lot of stuff, but then sometimes I scrap stuff that I know I could probably resell, but it just takes time to resell it. I'm like, it's just easier to, to not spend that extra hour <laughs> to gain an extra. You're like, I'll take the $5. Dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, $2. Pretty much, especially at the prices right now. Yeah. Any tips or tricks or anything you want to tell anyone on YouTube? If you think, I would suggest you start a YouTube channel. And for, for the simple fact that document your life, document what you're doing. Um, so if you think, no matter what you do, you could be a person that does tools, you can be a person that does fire extinguishers or works on cars or gardening or whatever, you know, musician, whatever you do, or just you're a talkative kind of a person. Start a YouTube channel because you're gonna be documenting all of your stuff that's going on in your life. Future generations can, can see it. You can look at it. I'm looking at videos from two and a half years ago saying, wow, is that really how it was? Because sometimes I'll remember stuff differently than how I recorded it. So You're start. like, man, prices were much better back then. <laughs> yeah. The prices were $140 in that ton for scrap. Now it's down to 20 30 sometimes 60 bucks in that ton. Mm. Um, so it's less than half. So I'm doing half price scrap. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. So this and saddle, I did a little bit of um, research on it. It's a Textan uh, saddle from Yoakum, Texas. So I don't know if you can see some of the ornate um, stuff here. And these are silver, these little buttons all over it. They're, um, yeah, nothing's broken on it. But yeah. one thing I did uh, that some of the commenters said in the channel is that the, the actual- um, Tree. The, the blanket or whatever? The tree. Tree, is that what it's called? The tree. Is this the tree? <laughs> the tree is this area right here. Oh, okay. That can get broke if it's laying on the tree at all times, okay. not with something like keeping its shape. Okay, so there was a bunch of stuff that actually went with this that I didn't notice in the trash can that stayed in the trash can. Yeah. <laughs> so well, I'm sure there were probably saddle pads in there and yeah, yeah. other stuff, but you got the majority of what the saddle came with. <laughs> so here is the, the Hereford brand Textan of Yoakum. Um, but yeah, they just chucked it right into the trash can. 
And I will probably link in this video the actual video that he found it in the trash because, you know, it's just kind of bizarre to see this in the trash can. So now it belongs to you. Hey, it's going to be an awesome Christmas gift for my daughter. Oh, uh, that's so cool. That's why I was really? like, you know what? She wants her own saddle, so this is actually going to go to my daughter. Okay, so you got to clean it up somehow. I guess saddle soap and... Um, Murphy's oil soap works very well as well. Good. That's what I use a lot of times, Murphy's oil soap. All right. It's a lot cheaper. Cool. <laughs> but it's greatly appreciated. I know my daughter will love it. It's a nice looking saddle. This and this razor scooter we're going to get. Yep, we're going to take that home and see if we can figure out what is going on with it. Um, it turns on, but it doesn't go. So we're going to see if we can figure out why it's not going. Something else he picked up out of the trash that he'd rather not hold on to. <laughs> yeah. He's been holding on to it, what? It's been at least two months you've had that, right? Yeah, yeah. They always, same with anyone that's done any dumpster driver or, or trash picking, it's super easy to start hoarding. Because you think you're gonna do all kinds of stuff with it. Some people do, some people with a ton of energy and uh, you know, and, and the time that they wanna put into that, they, they can actually do the fixing of stuff. Yeah. But to me, it's like, okay, I'll get to this, but I have to do something else first. The next you know, months go by, years go by. And now we're in the holidays where it's just gonna get extremely busy. So to you, uh, this is gonna, I think you'll be able to fix it. Um, and to me, it's less clutter. Uh, and in less stress. So and if I can't fix it, I'll get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. It'd be cool if I like did this and all of a sudden, it worked. Yeah, Burr. yeah. All of a sudden, oh wait, wait it does work. Yeah. Say, if if I can't fix it, maybe we'll have a first scrapping video out of me. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the charger that goes with it. The it does the light does turn on on it, but it just never actually goes. Oh yeah, but no, it was nice meeting you. Yeah. I'm glad we were able to meet up. Yeah. Right, Thank you again. Yep, you're awesome. We definitely need to plan something when it gets nicer, probably, and get yep. the husband out here, too, and we'll do yeah. an actual collab. Or with Gill Skills and, and, and Green Bay. Green Wacky. Bay. We'll, we'll That's another course. possibility, too. Yeah. But we definitely have to do something. Yeah. Actually, when we have more time and it's not the holiday season, right? Yeah. Cool. But thank you. Right. Thank you so much for staying tuned, guys. Scrap and Pallet Man, it was a pleasure to meet you. I can't wait till we can do it again. Thank you for making the time to meet up with me today. And guys, remember, go out, enjoy life. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you enjoyed what you saw. And we will catch you on the next one.